we can start okay uh, hi uh, my name uh, is Ilya Sofronov I am a civic educator um, I am interested in learning and teaching digital arts and today we I will give uh, a lecture on topic child GPT as a tool for civic education sector uh, of course uh, uh, education sector of the course uh, artificial intelligence as a, an instrument of civic educa education uh, this will be a fairly simple format uh, I will ask uh, uh, chat GPT and read you the answers uh, that is uh, it will be more uh, of a workshop of using chat GPT Uh, the project uh, is supported by the Federal Ag Agency for Civic Education, uh, PPP, using funds uh, appropriated by the Federal Foreign Office, Germany. So, let's go. And uh, sorry for my bad English. Mm, registration. Um, we can uh, get access to the chat. Uh, GPT is quite simple. Uh, you need to register on the platform. Um, open AI uh, go to the chat GPT try chat GPT and you can sign up with your uh, continue with your Google or Microsoft account or Apple um, or another email address uh, and now we have uh, we log in in chat GPT uh, ChatGPT have two plans. Uh, it is uh, two types of subscription: uh, a free version and a paid version. Uh, Twenty dollars per month. I will show you the paid version. Uh, we have choose ChatGPT uh, three or ChatGPT four. Um, and um, because uh, it has more features. And the free version is a uh, sh shortened version, the purpose of which is to interest you in uh, purchasing the full version. The paid version has access uh, to a better language model, ChatGPT4, is more stable and you have uh, access to plugins. Uh, plugins and uh, advanced data analysis. Uh, language. I choose the language of Dialog English and I also recommend uh, you to write in the chat in English uh, because it uh, works better that way. Mm, custom instruction. Here uh, three dots we have uh, custom instruction. Um, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide uh, better responses? So starters. Where are you based? What do you do for work what are your hobbies and interests what subject can you talk about for hours what are some goals you have um, i have uh, some custom instruction uh, i live in ukraine i am engaged in civic education i work in in an ngo I am also interested in the possibilities of AI for civic organization and civic education. Mm. Uh, if you enter data here, the chat information will be more specific and the chat will be behave more predictably. Mm. Okay, I will save this information early. Uh, better futures. Uh, let's go to the plugin uh, store. We uh, uh, check here. No plugin enabled. Go to the bottom plugin store. Uh, a little about the plugin store. Uh, everything is simple here. Go to the store, choose the plugin you need, and install it. What uh, we choose? I have installed some plugins. Uh, maybe code pad we choose install 
and we have plugins um, um, we can now we can select uh, these plugins in new chart mm. here you see all my plugins e, uh, and you see you can enable it only three plugins in the chat mm. we will uh, use some plugins mm, uh, in our lecture mm. okay let's start a new chat let's start new chat i will write uh, tell me about yourself Uh, I'm virtual assassin trained to assist uh, with a wide variety of tasks and answer questions to the best of my ability. I'm based on the ChatGPT4 architecture and was developed by OpenAI. My training involved a large scale uh, database obtained from a variety of sources to develop a wide region understanding of human language. The training process involved running computation of thousands of GPUs over a week or months, but exact details and time scales are priority, etc. Uh, now you see uh, ChatGPT uh, can give you all information about yourself in such way. Mm. Uh, Okay, let's another question. Uh, write me a recommendation uh, for effective communication with you. Absolutely. I'm here to assist you with any kind of information or task you need to help with. To communicate effectively with me, here are some recommendations. Be specific. Clearly, clearly state what are you looking for. The more specific you are, the better I can assist you. Simple language. Use simple and clear language to convey your request. By all can understand complex sentences, straightforward language can offer yield better result. Step by state instruction. If you have a multi-part question of task, breaking it down into smaller steps can be helpful. Context. Providing Sufficient context or background information can help me understand your request better. Feedback. If the response is not what you expected, feel free to provide feedback or rephrase your question. Updates. Science My Training only includes information uh, up until September 2092. I might not have information or more recent events. You can ask for general advice of information that is not time sensitive. Experiment. Feel free to experiment with different types of questions or prompts. I am here to assist you with a wide variety of tasks. Safety. Avoid sharing any personal sensitive or confidential information with me. I am designed to prioritize user privacy and data security. I hope the tips help. If you have any question or task in mind, to hit and ask. Okay, let's ask uh, about prompts. Tell me about prompts. In the context of AI and machine learning, a prompt uh, refers to the input instruction given to the model to generate a response or perform a specific task, prompts can be questions, statements, or even single words that guide the AI response. Here, deeper look into prompts and how they work. Type of prompts. Uh, and here we have uh, some useful information about prompts. Uh, you can read this uh, in another way uh, okay 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 
we have this question let's let's go to the our topic some uh, about uh, uh, ask about uh, civic education sector mm, I am a civic educator I work in NGO how can I use you in my activities mm, absolutely Leveraging AI can be a substantial asset in your role as a civic educator working in an NGO. Here are several ways you could use AI like me in your activities. Contact creation and editing. Uh, education materials can help you draft and edit education context, including lessons, plans, representation and information brochures. Uh, reports and grant writing assist uh, in uh, drafting reports proposal and uh, grant application by helping to write edit and um, proofread the document research data analysis i can help uh, an analyze data and provide insights based of the data you have uh, literature review assist in conduction literature reviews and summarizing research uh, findings in the field of uh, civic education uh, community engagement survey design i can help you design surveys and questionnaires to gather feedback and insight from the community you serve social media assist in managing social media context by helping to draft post responses and informational content education tools interactive learning develop interactive learning models and quizzes to engage learners in civic education topics resource compilation assist in compiling resources such as articles videos and books for educational purpose event planning agenda settings i can help you draft agendas and workshops seminars and other events speech writing assist in writing speeches or talking points for events and presentations automation or repetitive tasks email responses set up automated responses for common queries received by you NGO. database management assist in organizing and managing databases including data entry task training and uh, capacity building training modules develop training modules and materials for capacity building initiatives simulation scenarios create simulation scenarios for training session to help participants understand and navigate complex civic issue exploring ai possibilities ai workshops Organize workshops or seminars to explore the potential of AI in civic education and to foster digital literacy. AI projects. Initiate projects that uh, leverage AI technology to address civic education issues and promote civic education. Remember to always use AI ethically and responsibly. Considering the potential to bias and misinformation it's important to verify the information generated by ai and to use it in a way that promote inclusively and critical thinking okay it's very good uh, answer i think and we go to the next question um, now i want to ask my assistants, how can you help me to develop instructional materials, including brochures, guides, and online resources? So we go go deeper to uh, to that que to that question. It will be a very long uh, answer. <coughs> Absolutely. I'd be 
delight me to assist you in development instructional materials for your civic education initiatives. Uh, here how we can go about it. Understanding your audience. Audience analysis. Before we start, we need to understand who your target audience is, tailoring the content to suit the needs and understanding level of your audience is crucial. Content development. Content outline. We can start by creating an outline of the topics and subtopics to be covered in the instructional materials. Resource compilation. I can help you compile a list of credible resources and references to be used in the materials. Drafting content. Writing assistant. I can assist you in writing the content for the brochures, guides and online resources based on the outline we develop. Interactive elements. For online resources, we can think uh, of incorporating interactive elements such as quizzes, infographics and video to make the learning experience engaging. Design and layout. Design suggestion. While I can create designs myself, I can certainly help you with suggestion for layout and design elements that would suit your content. Accessibility. Ensure that the materials are accessible, including considering font choice, color contrast, and providing a alternative text for images. Review and feedback. Feedback loop. Once a draft is prepared, it will be beneficial to have a feedback loop, where a select group of your target audience reviews the material and provides feedback. Revisions. Based on the feedback received, I can assist you in make uh, necessary uh, revision or to the context. Uh, finalizing and disruption. Mm, proof uh, reading. Before finalizing, I can help you proofread the context to ensure it is error free and well articulated. Uh, disrupt, uh, distribution strategy. We can also discuss and plan the best uh, strategy to distributing the materials to reach a wider audience. Evaluation. Feedback surveys post distribution. It will be good to gather feedback to understand the impact of the materials and identity areas to in improvement. Updates. Based on the feedback, we can work on updating the materials as needed to ensure they remain relevant and eff effective. I am here to assist you at each step of the process, providing guidance, helping with writing, and offering suggestions to develop effective instructional material for your NGO Civic Education Initiative. Let's work together to create material that are informative, engaging, and impactful. Okay, <coughs> so um, let's get deeper uh, to that question. Can you help me in brainstorming ideas and outline context? Uh, yes, yes, um, it's another question. Uh, brainstorming ideas and outline the content, the brochures and guides. Uh, give me advice. How best to give your task in this context? Give me an example of a correct question and its answer. Uh, it will be a more big uh, answer. ChatGPT will give them our some examples. So he teach us how to speak with him. <coughs> Absolutely. Uh, I'd be happy to help you brainstorm and outline context for your brochures and guides. Uh, here how you can effectively give tasks to me in this context. Clearly define the objective. Start uh, by clearly defining the objective of the brochures or guides. What is the main goal uh, you want to achieve with this material? Example question. Can you help me brainstorm ideas 
for a brochure aimed to promotion civic education among teenagers? Example answer. Certainly. For a brochure uh, targeting teenagers, we can consider including sections such as why civic education matters, uh, your role as a citizen, and uh, fun ways to get involved in your community. We can also add interactive elements like QR codes linking to educational videos and podcasts. Mm, specific uh, specific the target audience. Mention the target audience for the material and understanding the audience will help in tailoring the content appropriately. Example question. What kind of content uh, can we include in a guide for teacher who want to incorporate civic education into their curriculum? Mm, example answer. Uh, for a guide uh, targeting teacher, we can include sections such as understanding civic education, lessons, plans and activities, resources and tools, and tips for engaging students in civic education. We can also provide case studies and examples of successful civic education initiatives. Uh, provide context or background information. Uh, provide any necessary background information or context uh, to help me understand the scope of the project better. Example question. We are creating a series of brochure for a campaign or democratic participation. Can you help me uh, outline the content for the first brochure focusing on voting rights? Mm, example answer. Mm, absolutely. For a brochure focusing, on voting rights, we can include sections such as the history of voting rights, why your vote matters, uh, how to register to vote, and understanding your voting rights. We can also add testimonials uh, from individuals sharing their experiences of voting for the first time. Mm, okay, and another examples. Um, let's go to another prompts. We will ask uh, our assistants another question. I want you to act, act as a writing assistant. Can you help me to draft content, providing suggestions for improving grammar, style and coherence? Uh, give me advice how best to give you tasks in this context. Give me an example of a correct question and its answer. Mm. <coughs> it's the last uh, question without plugins and um, as a question we will use plugins. <coughs> Absolutely. I'd be uh, delighted to assist you in drafting and improving content. Here's how you can efficiently assign tasks to me in this context. Uh, clearly specify the task. Clearly state whatever you want help drafting content from scratch or improving exciting content. Example question. Can you help me draft an introduction, paragraph, for a guide on civic participation. Example answer. Certainly. Uh, here is a draft uh, for your introduction. Civic participation lies at the heart of a serene democracy. It empowers individuals to shape the policies and structures that govern their lives, fostering a social that is more inclusive, informed and just. The guide aims to equip you with the knowledge and tools to actively engage in civic processes, in, in covering a vibrant democratic culture for all. <coughs> Provide context and details. Provide uh, sufficient context and details about the content, including the target audience and the main objectives. Example question. I have written a paragraph for our brochure on community engagement. Can you help me improve its uh, coherence and style? Of course.
please provide the paragraph you write in and I will assist you is and chasing is coherent style. Um, specifies the tone and style. Mention the desired tone and style to the content. Whatever it should be formal, informal, persuasive, informative, etc. Example question. Can you help me to rewrite the following sentences in more formal tone? Um, more formal tone. Uh, get out there and make a difference in your community. Example answer. Absolutely. Here is more formal uh, rendition of your sentence. We encourage you to actively engage and contribute to the betterment of your community. Uh, highlight uh, specific areas for improvement. If you have specific areas or aspects you want to focus on, highlight them into your request. Example question. I have drafted a conclusion for our guide, but I am not sure about the grammar. Can you review it and suggest improvements? Example answer. Certainly. Please share the conclusion you drafted and I will review it for grammatical ac accuracy and suggest potential improvements. Uh, be open to feedback and revision. Be open to receiving feedback and making revision based on the suggestion provided. Example question. I have incorporated uh, our suggestion into the draft. Can you review it uh, one more time and ensure everything flows well? Absolutely. I'll be glad to help. Please share the updated draft and I'll review it to ensure a smooth and coherent flow. I hope this helps. Feel free to share your writing task following these guidelines. And I will assist you in drafting and improving your content. Let's work together to create content that uh, is grammatically sound, stylistically appearing and awesome. <coughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. And now I want to create new chat and show you how to work with plugins. We will uh, enable one plugin, Wikipedia. Uh, find this plugin. OK. We enable this. And now it works in our chat. Be sure to enable plugin before you start to chatting. Uh, and uh, our questions. Uh -huh. And uh, enable another plugin. Diagrams show me. Where is diagrams? Show me. Okay, we have two plugins. Two plugins. And uh, our first question in the chat. Act as infographic designer. Can you help me to analyze large datasets and create infographics and visual representation of data to include in brochures and guidelines? Give me advice. How best to give you task in this context? Give me an example of a correct question and its answer. Take data at you, your own di discretion from Wikipedia. And uh, he will go to the Wikipedia. He will I think he must go. Uh, absolutely. I'd be glad to help you create infographic and visual presentation data. How to keep tasks for infographic design? Specific the data source. Clearly mention where the data should be data should be sourced from. In your case, it's Wikipedia. Uh, but it can also be other reliable sources. Define the objective. Clearly state what the infographic should convey. It should be to illustrate a trend, compare data or highlight specific statistic. Uh, okay. Uh, retail the data points. List down the specific data points or types of data you want to include 
in the infographic. Choose a type of infographic if you have uh, preference specific the type of infographic you want uh, chart bar graph timeline etc if not i can suggest the best type based on the data <coughs> styling preference mention any specific styling preference such as color term fonts and themes example of a correct question and its answer question can you create a bar chart infographic that illustrates the population growth of Ukraine from 200 uh, from from 200 to 220 uh, using uh, data from Wikipedia? Please use a blue and yellow color chart to represent the data. Answer. To fulfill the represent uh, request, uh, I would first search for the population data of Ukraine from 200 to 220 on Wikipedia. Uh, once I have the data, I would create a bar chart uh, with years and the x-axis um, and population numbers of the y-axis. Uh, using blue and yellow colors for the bars to represent the data visually. Let's proceed uh, with the example. Data retrieval. I will search for the population data of Ukraine. Data analysis. After retrieving the data, I will ana analyze um, it to identify the trends and significant points that should be highlighted in the infographic. Infographic creation. Using the analyzed data, I will create the bar chart infographic with the specified color scheme. Let's start with step one. Retrieving the data from Wikipedia. Shall we? Let's go. Let's go. And ChatGPT will use plugin Wikipedia in that time. <coughs> Here is a code. Okay, and then our answer. It seems like you initiated a search for Ukraine population data. However, I didn't receive any specific instruction in your previous message. Message. Could you please clarify what you look like to do or oh, no? Feel free to ask any question to give any commands. Let's go. Uh, okay, okay. Um, okay. Data analysis. Mm -hmm. oh, poo, 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 poo. Okay, we can ask uh, question. Yeah, some example. Can you create a bar chart infographic that illustrates the population growth of Ukraine from 2000 to 2020 using data from Wikipedia? Let's go. It's some bug um, from our chat. I think it will be all nice in that way. I found the population data of Ukraine from 2000 to 2020. Let's proceed to create a bar chart infographic with the blue and yellow codes to represent this data. Here is the population data in millions. And uh, we have uh, some interesting statistic. Okay. Well, now I will create a bar chart for you. Let's proceed with this. And here use you see the plugin diagrams diagrams show me okay let's wait it will be in a few seconds Mm -hmm. 
he writes uh, a code. We can see uh, this process. Um, okay. Uh, it's standard uh, answer. I apologize for the conditions. Uh, it seems there is a high load of requests for rendering diagrams in the moment. However, you can still view and edit the bar chart online. Uh, here is you can uh, proceed. Uh, let's go to the diagram. Uh, you see image and you see a code. You can uh, change any data in the code. Um, and uh, you can use uh, this in your work. Uh, okay. Let's, uh, I will show you uh, another plugin. It will be KMate AI Search. Uh, let's off this plugin and um, on this plugin, KMate. Search and browse the web by using Google Search result with KMate AI. And uh, this uh, plugins. Um, mm, can search uh, any information in Google. It's very useful for your work. Uh, I want you to act as a trend analyst. Can you identify and analyze current trends in civic education? Give me advice. How best to give you task in this context? Give me an example of a correct question and its answer. Absolutely. I'd like to, to help you with trends analysis in the civic education sphere. Uh, here, how we can go about identify current trends. I will start by identifying the most uh, recent trends in civic education globally and possibility in Ukraine, given your background. I will look into recent publication, reports, and articles to gather this information. Analyzing the trends. Once the trends are identified, I will provide a detailed anal analysis uh, of each trend, this uh, discussion its implementation and driving factors behind it, and how it is be uh, being adopted in different regions. Advice of uh, framing questions. To get the most accurate and detailed information, it would be beneficial to ask specific questions. For instance, instance, uh, you might ask about the impact of a particular trends or how to implement a trends in a civic education program. Example of a correct question. Can you provide uh, recent case studies showcasing the implementation of digital literacy program in civic education? Example, example of answer. Certainly. Digital literacy has become a focal point in civic education recently. In Ukraine, NGO X initialized a program where they integrated digital tools in their civic education curriculum. They introduced modules on how to discover credible source online, basic digital skills, and their responsible use of social media. The program has uh, reportedly seen a success with a significant increase in digital literacy rates among the participants. Step 4. Implementing the trends. Based on analysis, I can help you brainstorm ways to implement these trends in your NGO civic education initiatives. A tailoring strategy to your specific needs and context. Now let's proceed with identifying the current trends in civic education. Uh, go. <coughs> uh, now you will see he use uh, this plugin KMate IE search so he search uh, some current information uh, about and analyze 
current trends in civic education. Uh, based on the recent development in civic education, here are, here are the current trends and their analysis. Mm, current trends in civic education. Um, it's very uh, interesting uh, information. Increased focus on civil literacy. Uh, description. There is a growing realiza um, realization of the importance uh, of civic literacy. Recent surveys have shown a decline of civic knowledge with less than half of Americans being able to name all three branches of government. Analysis. The decline of civic uh, knowledge is alarming and indicates a need for a robust civic education curriculum. The lack of understanding of basic civic principles can lead to a popula populace that is less engaged and potentially more susceptible to misinformation. Mm. Okay. Um. Be partisan support uh, for civic education. Description. There is uh, be partisan support of uh, in enhancing civic education with uh, policies and uh, funding being directed towards improving civic learning. Analysis. The br uh, be partisan support uh, is a positive sign indicating a collective uh, understanding of the importance of civic education uh, this could lead to substantial improvements in the civic education landscape with increased uh, funding and well-rounded policies okay and uh, you can see uh, another trends uh, in civic education mm. uh, good good um, apparently, it is necessary to do a whole course in order to consider all the possibilities of this assistant, but we are limited in time, so we will conclude. I will still able to answer your question, but in Ukraine or Russian. I will hardly to be answered in English at uh, that moment. And finalizing our um, lecture in uh, ChatGPT. Write a uh, wish to the audience of the lecture which was based on the material of this chat and translate it into language Ukrainian and Russian. <coughs> Absolutely. Here is a wish to your lecture audience based on the material we discussed English. Mm. May you all be inspired by the evolving landscape of civic education. Let this knowledge empower you to foster a society grounded in understanding, collaboration and active participation. Here's to nothing, a generation equipped with the wisdom to lead and the courage to serve. Happy learning! Uh, Нехай ви всі надихаєтеся на розвиток громадянської освіти, нехай ці знання дають вам силу сприяти створенню суспільства, заснованого на розумінні, співпраці та активній участі, ось до виховання, ось до виховання покоління, оснащеного мудрістю керувати та мужністю служити. Веселого навчання. Отож, дякую всім за участь в лекції. Uh, 